Okay, so I've had a few people ask me to make a video of this amplifier. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm not going to get fully, fully into the back of it because it's got a hundred million screws. Uh, but also, I figured it was a good thing to do because I don't really ever see this one anywhere online. So this is the Gibson Metalist. It has four 10-inch speakers. This is not the original grill cloth. Uh, it has a wired-in foot switch for tremolo and reverb. Ultimately, we've got four inputs with two separate channels, the reverb channel, the normal channel. Uh, the knobs go to 12. So that's pretty awesome. So the Gibson Metalist 410. Everyone that I see online is the Super Metalist with the 212s or the Duo Metalist with the 112. But I never see the 410. camera around here. Oops. I guess we're not going to flip the camera around. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So that's that. Let's do a little sound demo. My only real complaint about this amplifier is that it's not quite as bright and clean as the Super Reverb. It's got a little bit of a muddiness and more of a mid-range to it, uh, but it is still just a beautiful, beautiful amplifier. Uh, there will be no pedals going through this at all. Um, this is just the amplifier tone. One thing that is pretty fun is that you can get some sound out of it with the volume on zero. <laughs> That's on zero. It goes to twelve. It goes to twelve. Which is my favorite feature because it's just so luscious. We can increase the depth and the speed if we want. This is totally maxed out. Metalist 410. Um, I would sure hope that there might be someone out there now that's going to see this and say, oh, I have one, and maybe can come in and share some more information, because there's almost no information about this particular amplifier online. Like I said, it's always the Duo Metalist or the Super Metalist. So, uh, hope that wasn't too horrible, and thanks. Bye.